Hi there, it's Therese and I'm back for Alan Hudson and today we are featuring the 12 tags of Christmas and we have carols. We're singing carols, although I won't sing for you because that would not be very pleasant. <laughs> I have Santa in my carols this year, so here's what I'm going to be using. This is the set called Santa's List and I've got the coordinating dies, some essential circles and that's what's going to be making my tag. I have a big city and the sentiment I'm going to be creating my own bespoke sentiment using the tall and skinny alpha which I adore. <laughs> All right so I'm going to start by doing some die cutting. I've chosen the two largest circles. I really like big tags on my presents. Almost card size makes me happy. The bigger the better and I want to die cut like two layers for this card but the second layer I want to be almost like a galaxy background so that's what I'm creating here I've used my ink blending tools both my alter new and my life changing blender brushes here and grabbed some beautiful bright distress ink colors I'm working on some Nina 110 pound cardstock and I'm adding lots of color here then over top of all these blended colors I'm actually adding a layer of black soot and this is what's going to give it that night sky look. So I've die cut this one with the slightly smaller largest circle and I want to splatter the whole background and create like a starry look so I've got some white paint that I've mixed with a bit of water and I'm just splattering that all over the top of this die cut and then I can just set that aside to dry. I didn't do any water blotting here. I actually meant to and I forgot but I what, what I did instead was add lots of stars. I'm going to do some really simple Copic colouring here. I have the Santa and also a sleigh because for this carol today we need both a Santa and a mode of transport. <laughs> Have you guessed the carol yet? I will let you know, I promise. And every day for this next 12 days, or for a total of 12 days, I, I'm actually day three, there is a new carol and a new inspiration for tags at Ellen Hudson. So don't forget to head through the link below, back to the blog post, because you can be inspired by what we're all creating and join the fun and also have a chance to win. So all the details will be at the blog. All right, I have got the caps off to the side here for the Copic markers that I'm using, but I will try and remember to link these as well at the blog. I didn't do anything particularly fancy here. And this has a coordinating set of dies, so it was hard to line up the bottom portion of the sleigh so I was just going to show you a little trick. I've die cut it out of a piece of scrap card stock and held that in place over my image. Then I can just lie the die in place like a jigsaw puzzle piece and run that through my die cutting machine and that way I know it's going to die cut in exactly the right spot. And then I did the same with my Santa. Alright now for the big city I've die cut that in some black cardstock and I want this to go over my galaxy background so I've got the second largest circle die again and I've just lined that up where I want that cut away. My sentiment like I said is going to be using the skinny and tall and skinny alpha and I'm doing ho 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 and just in some 110 pound white cardstock I've got that ready to go as well. So I like to get all my pieces ready to go and then I can just assemble everything. I have popped up my galaxy panel on the front of a card. I did just use a hole punch. If you've got a die, a little tiny circle die, you could cut that away. But I popped up my galaxy panel on top of the larger circle that I initially die cut out. And then I, to adhere these really tiny skinny thin <laughs> die cut letters. I'm using my matte medium just dotting that along and I'm holding the die cut. I find it easier to hold the die cut with my tweezers 
and then be able to just lay that onto the background. I have also popped up my Santa and my city. I did use some black foam squares on the city itself just so you can't see those um, sitting in behind the image and then Santa sits on top. So have you worked out the song yet? It's Here Comes Santa Claus. See he's on his sleigh, he's over the city and he's got the galaxy background. Love it. <laughs> All right, a bonus tip today. I'm going to show you how I made this tassel. And it's really easy to do. Now this loop that I'm creating here is the portion that's going to be threaded through my tag. So these are, this is where it's going to be the tassel end. So I'm wrapping it around my fingers seven times to create a circle of thread. Then I can just bring the edges up to where the original loop is and fold the other side in. That's just going to double the thickness of my tassel. Now the initial piece that I had I'm going to wrap around and just tie a knot and that's going to make it easier for me to hold everything in place while I create the actual tassel. And really I should have taken a bit more notice of where I was tying it. Try and tie it in the center of those two loops to make that U shape. And you can just um, tease out the edges of that because that's actually going to be the tassel end. And I lined them up before I used the other portion that's still connected to the DMC thread skein. And I'm just wrapping that around to create the top of the tassel and that's just going to hold everything in place. You can wrap this around as many times as you like. I think I probably did it about four or five times. And then the original piece that I had hanging down from the original loop that's the piece that I'm going to tie a little knot to hold that in place. Really simple and easy to do and so much fun. And Alan Hudson sells the DMC threads at the store to coordinate with the felt that she has. And it's just, it's beautiful quality felt and these DMC threads are such wonderful colours. And I thought this really dark sort of grey black colour worked perfectly. All I had to do then was cut away the edges and I did have to cut a little bit away from one side because like I said I didn't make it completely centre. <laughs> and I just threaded that through my tag. So don't forget to join in the fun at Ellen Hudson and the 12 tags of Christmas. There's so much inspiration there. I'll have the link in the description below and thanks so much for joining me. If you did like today's video please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, bye.